Life gives us opportunities. We were created by a perfect God. We were created for purpose, plan and destiny. Everybody has a date with destiny. Some would beg to differ and say that I wasn't dealt a good hand. I don't have the talent, all the favor, or all the resources and options that he or she has or they have. All I have is a lot of ideas. All I have is a lot of talent that I haven't been able to do anything with. I study, I practice, I play hard. I go hard in everything I do. I work to build my business. I work to get the idea produced. I wrote the book. I work to produce the movie or get the degree or career, invention or whatever it is that you're working to do. But here's the thing. There's nothing new under the sun. Everybody has different times, levels. Everybody has their own talent, gift, or ideology or ability. But it's what you do with it. That's what separates whether or not we meet our date with destiny. Because we all have that call. We all have the opportunity. We all have a shot. And the difference is those that decide to take that shot. The difference is those that decide that when I wake up every morning, I'm going to live every moment to the maximum. I'm going to live out purpose. I'm going to live out God's plan for my life. I'm going to meet destiny because I'm preparing. So when the opportunity comes, I'm going to be prepared. And see, preparation is what catapults us into our destiny. You see, Moses didn't know that he would be 80 years old before he would lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. Abraham didn't know that he would be 100 years old before the promise that God had given him would come to pass. Joseph didn't know that he would spend 13 years falsely accused and innocently in prison, only to be brought out in one day to be made ruler over everything. Sarah didn't know that she would be 90 years old before she would give birth to the promise God gave to Abraham. So you might feel like, well, I'm 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And you think it's over. You think God's forgotten about you. God didn't forget about Moses. He didn't forget about Abraham. He didn't forget about Joseph. He didn't forget about David. David was anointed king as a young man, but he was on the run for his life for years. God didn't tell him he would be, or he may not have accepted the appointment as king over Israel. So what I'm saying to you is, you've got to be ready to take your shot. See, Joseph was ready because he had been years listening to God. When God spoke a dream to Pharaoh, he was able to interpret it because he had already been in relationship. He had already been preparing. David had already been preparing. He had already killed the lion and the bear. He had already been leading sheep and practicing with his slingshot, singing, dancing, praising and worshiping when no one was looking but God. Abraham had been being faithful before he ever saw the promise. Before Isaac came, Moses had been practicing in the palace for 40 years and then in the desert for 40 years before his opportunity came. But when the time came, they took their shot. They didn't turn and run the other way. So opportunity is coming. You're gonna get the opportunity to take your shot. But the thing is, you've gotta prepare now. You've gotta be preparing instead of complaining. Be preparing instead of crying because God has a shot, a moment, and time for you, a due season for you. There's a prepared time and place if you keep moving forward in faith. You don't have to look to the left or right. You don't have to compare. You can't compare with someone else. Their time is not yours. All you have to do is believe God. Have the faith. Believe that what He put in you, what He has for you, it will come to pass. It shall come to pass in due season. And when your preparation meets God's opportunity that's already prepared for you, that's when you'll be catapulted into your destiny. All you have to do is focus. All you have to do is, is block out the distractions. All you have to do is stop listening to who doesn't like you. All you have to do is stop looking at what you think you don't have. You don't have time to compare. You don't have time to, to worry about whether or not people agree with you. You've got to prepare to take your shot because that's your opportunity. That's your destiny. And when you prepare and even meet God's opportunity, that's when you'll be catapulted into your destiny.